Welcome back to Daybreak 651, 49 degrees, mystery surrounding the first presidential visit to Alaska. This week in 1923, Warren G. Harding drove the final spike into an Alaska railroad track in Nanana to signify its completion. In this week's story time with Ann Phil, author Laurel Downing Bill tells us why two events that soon followed are still surrounded by uncertainty. Most Alaskans are familiar with this image of President Harding getting set to nail down the golden spike, signifying the completion of the Alaska Railroad running from Seward to Fairbanks and, of course, cutting here through Anchorage. But, Laura, what would follow? Death and disappearance. Which mystery happened first? Well, after President Hardy smacked that $600 golden spike, which incidentally he'd missed on two different mm -hmm. tries, they took out that spike and replaced it with an iron one to actually complete the railroad. And then that golden spike, which today had a monetary value somewhere around probably $8,500 went missing. So that was the disappearance. What about the death? Uh, less than three weeks after President Harding attended the Golden Spike ceremony, he died. He and his entourage had gone on board the USS Henderson, leaving Seward on July the 17th, heading for outside. They made a short stop in Cordova and another one in Sitka where the residents just greeted them enthusiastically. But two days out of port, Harding started feeling some really bad abdominal pains. Well, everybody put it down to his eating crab drenched with butter. Mm -hmm. However, none of the other people in his party had any symptoms of tomaine poisoning. And as his trip progressed via train from Seattle to San Francisco, his symptoms just got worse and worse and worse. And he died then on August the 2nd at the age of 57. And a lot of conspiracy theories surrounding his death. <laughs> People thought his wife may have murdered him. It turns out Harding had a roving eye for the ladies mm -hmm. that historians say might have made some of our recent presidents look like choir boys. <laughs> he also theorized that perhaps members of his own cabinet had murdered him because he was starting to investigate some of their misdoings. And yet other people thought perhaps it was Harding committed suicide uh, because he had learned that some of his dear friends were involved in some, uh, let's say, criminal activity. Uh, and even a few people thought perhaps we Alaskans had a hand in, in his murder. Certainly not us. So what actually happened to President Harding? Records indicate that Harding had a history of heart problems due to his unhealthy eating habits as well as his fun-loving lifestyle. He had an enlarged heart as well as really high blood pressure. And so experts are saying that he died of a heart attack. So that mystery is solved. So one mystery solved, but the other as it relates to that golden spike. You still don't know what happened to it. <laughs> the historically significant golden spike, yes, it is missing still, as far as I know. For years, people thought it might have been at the Harding Museum in Ohio or at one of the Smithsonian's in Washington, D.C. But the curators of those museums say, no, it's not in their collections. We may never know. You'll notice she said monetary value of that spike. You uh -huh. know, it's weight in gold, eighty-five hundred dollars. It would be, you know, you would think a uh, priceless, really, as far as uh, Alaska goes, mm -hmm. if it were ever found, or or at least worth more than eighty-five hundred. Yeah, hey, I think Laurel could crack that mystery. If anyone can, she can. Right? Let's send her on out.